Allah Azza wa Jal, He says in Surah Al-Muddathir, وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ The wow in the beginning is like the English capital letter. Like when you start a new sentence, you begin with capital letter. In, in Arabic, wow can be used for many things, over 21 things. One of them is al istinaf to start a new sentence. So you could think of the wow in the beginning as a new sentence. The rest of the ayah says, رَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ Now listen to this carefully. What's the first letter you hear when I say Rabbaka? What's the first letter of the Arabic alphabet that you hear? Everybody heard the Ra? Rabbaka? Now listen for the last letter. Rabbaka fakabbir. What's the last letter you heard? Okay. Now listen carefully for the second letter. Rabbaka. What's the second letter? Rabbaka. Ba. Listen for the second last letter. Rabbaka fakabbir. What's the second last letter? Ba. Rabbaka. What's the third letter? Kaf. Rabbaka. Fakabbir. What's the third last letter? You notice something? It's spelled backwards and forwards the same way. It's spelled backwards and forwards the same way. In English literature, we call this a palindrome. Something that spells backwards and forwards the same way. Like Bob or race car. Race car is an interesting palindrome in English. Allah Azza wa Jal gave our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam words that he didn't write down. وَمَا تَخُطُّهُ بِيَمِينِكَ Allah tells him, You didn't write anything down with your hand. You don't know how to write. So this is entirely an oral exercise for the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he, once he says something, he doesn't edit it. He doesn't correct it. That's it. Allah revealed it and that's it. There's no, I didn't mean to say that, let me change the way I said it, etc, etc. Right? It's exactly the way Allah instructed him to recite. The challenge for mankind is, you see, the ayah, the simple translation of the ayah would be, declare the greatness only of your Lord. That would be a simple translation of, وَرَبَّكَ فَكَبِّرْ Try to say, declare the greatness only of your Lord in English, or French, or German, or Japanese, or Chinese, or Italian, or Russian, or Urdu, or Farsi, you pick the language. Say it so that it spells backwards and forwards the same way, and say it so you only have one attempt orally. No writing down, no looking up in dictionaries. How possible is that? Subhanallah. I can translate the ayah, but could I translate the miracle in English? If I tell you, declare the greatness only of your Lord, you get some of the message. But do you get the miracle? You don't get the miracle. The miracle of Qur'an is in the Arabic language. And this is just one small example. 